What's up guys? Hope TV, Hope Mukunta here. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing my brand new DJI Mini 2 drone. I've been waiting for this baby for so long. And uh, I'm just gonna, you know, just gonna check out what's inside the box. And uh, of course, I bought the Flymo combo, so it has more accessories that come with uh, extra batteries. But let me not talk too much. It's better we see for ourselves what is in the box. So let's go ahead and just check it out. Here we go. Right off the bat, um, I think this needs to go. And just take this out. And uh, so, like, right off the bat, um, okay, I'll come back to this a bit later. I don't know what these are, but I'm going to come back to this a bit later. Let me just put this. Um, way and of course we have uh, the drone itself I really can't wait to see this baby I've been waiting I've had this thing in my uh, shopping cart on uh, eBay for <clears throat> sorry for like a year now so you can imagine how I'm feeling I'm just so excited to open this box and most importantly to actually be able to fly it uh, a bit later so let's go ahead and just uh, take this out and then uh, we get rid of uh, the box okay so we have um, the drone here and the accessories but in the meantime I just want to talk about the landing pad which you can see right from here so if I open this up it has a carry case um, let me see how that looks like of course this thing opens I need to be careful okay Oops, that's how it looks like. Edge uh, for hope. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Every landing pad has an edge. I don't know why it is like this. I might need to Google that. And this is the other side. It's blue. So let me take this back uh, the way it was. Oh, that was easy. I was scared that was gonna hit me in my face. It's gonna go back in its carry case so that we can quickly have a look at the drone so here you go you are going to go back in here where you came from and uh of course i have the accessories in here so let me see what i have so i have the connector cables these cables connect uh from the controller to uh the smartphone that you use uh you know like for the app to see where you're flying to and of course i do have uh, the charging cables and i do have the um, charging head so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this aside so that we can get to uh looking at the drone itself now let me see here we go are you ready for this okay another bag inside i don't know when i'm gonna see this thing i'm afraid there might be another bag or another box inside so okay i'm gonna put this aside let me see we'll stay here and then I'm gonna unzip this and see if I can finally see my bird. Okay, so here we go. Woo! Here's the bird. It's so tiny. Looks like a like a smartphone, really. Like it's smaller than most smartphones right now. It's so tiny. So I'm gonna put the drone right here. And then I'm gonna take out the other accessories in here. Of course, we have the controller. This is the most important thing next to the bird. And I'm gonna put this here. And then I'm going to check out the other accessories in here. Let me see what we have. Okay. And then, like I said, because this is the, this is the Fly More Combo, um, DJI were kind enough to put some extra propellers as well as uh, uh, um, the screwdriver for me to uh, like attach the propeller should I lose them or break them so I'm just gonna zip the bag and I'm gonna put this there so let me just arrange everything nicely and then you do have the um, the memory card as well as the SD card so it's a 120 GB 
um, memory card and uh, the write speed is uh, 60 megabytes per second and the read speed is 100 megabytes per second which is uh, like pretty fast so the 4k is going to be looking so amazing in this so I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna try to arrange everything nicely together like this so that we can finally get to look at the Tron so we do have the menu in here I'm gonna put this side so I'm gonna put this side right here and of course I'm gonna put these Propellers, these extra propellers are like how many pairs of these? Okay, so I have this is a pair, this is a pair, and then just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check out the drone before I even check out anything else. Now it has this strap here that protects the you know, like the propellers from any accidental, you know, like touching anything. So I'm gonna really just take this out and put it here and then so the baby is finally here but the thing is the way you unfold this you start with uh oh let me just a moment i need to take this uh okay here we go please go away so you unfold this you start with the right uh like the front arms and then you take out the back arms last because the way they unfold they kind of like go in the back so that's the way it goes <clears throat> now it's quite tiny and then you have uh this protector here for the for the gimbal and the camera i simply have to pop this out i hope i don't break anything okay so the protector is out and then you do have the 4k camera here and uh of course at the gimbal you know this thing like, looks so small but the things and the things i've seen this thing do are really amazing so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put the drone back here and then i'm gonna take out uh the batteries from the charging case so because this is the fly more combo i have three batteries here so i'm gonna take out one of them and put it in the drone just to see how it fits really not really to even like turn it on or anything like that so i'm gonna put this here and i'm gonna let's see where are you okay i don't know how this goes in so i'm gonna try to slide it in no nope, that's not the way aha uh -huh, it goes in like this i pop that then i close the lid and then i'm good to go now one thing to notice about this drone uh this is the smallest that dji has made i don't know if they're going to make anything smaller than this but make no mistake this thing can fly as far out as 10 kilometers. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to fly it that far, but uh, it has very strong wind resistance too. And like I, I keep saying, it shoots in 4K. And one of the amazing things too, uh, uh, sorry, not really the amazing thing, maybe like a bit of a drawback to note, is that um, this drone doesn't have uh, obstacle sensors, you know, like it won't dodge like a tree if you're flying it into a tree so the thing it has two sensors here at the back these eyes here are the ones that um um sense when it's landing or when it's taking off so the best thing to do is to fly it where there are no obstacles and make sure it goes at height where there are no uh, tall buildings and things like that and then <clears throat> the amazing thing with this drone because the zambian drone laws are crazy I mean, the Zambian drone uh, regulations are like a 60 page uh, like document that, you know, says what you can or cannot do with a drone. But this weighs more than, this weighs less than 250, 250 grams. What this means is that this is a private drone. That means that I get to skip some of the things I need to do if I was flying a commercial drone. So the only thing I need to do it's take it to the civil aviation have it registered and of course they give it a number plate ridiculous and of course uh, that number plate is going to show which country the drone was re registered in in case i'm flying this abroad and things like that yeah but that's it so i go and register it i pay about two thousand kwacha and then after i pay that amount of money i have to prove that i can fly this thing so i don't know whether they have to test me but as far as i've heard this is the only thing that I have to do. 
so okay and then let's go to um, uh, the charging case the beautiful thing is that it has two outlets I mean it has an inlet the one where you can actually charge the batteries and then it has an outlet now the outlet here you can charge your phone or you can charge a power bank so it, like it really comes in handy and beautiful and then if we check out um, the controller um, <clears throat> the amazing thing is this once you take out um, um, this that holds your phone uh, you can take out there are two types of cables here so you have an iPhone cable for you to plug into the iPhone and then so that you can connect to the app on your smartphone and also there is a type C oh my god come on now there is a type C cable here I think I need to use my left hand there's a type C cable here that uh, you know like most Android phones use that you can uh, like connect to your phone and also be able to see um, like control the drone from your uh, smartphone using the DJI app so you have the power button and then you do have the the mode so there's the normal mode the drone flies just like that and you have the cinema mode the scene mode you know like the drone flies a bit slower so that you have that epic uh, uh like cinematic look in your video and you have the sports mode so if you're following maybe like a runner or a car or a horse you might need to use sports mode so that the drone moves a bit faster and follows um uh, uh, like the subject so you have uh, like the, the place where you put the joysticks the joysticks are right here let me let me take out the joysticks so that you can see how they fit or are on the controllers so i'm gonna put that here that's quite easy and uh, you just screw them they're nice and gentle and nice and easy so that uh, you can be able to control the drone and be able to fly it so you know, we also have, uh, have like the charging port here which you can charge the controller as well so that's it guys uh this is the dji mini 2 and uh, like i said earlier i'm trying to to create content you know that uh, that you know is going to be i think amazing so that's why i'm investing in the drone and uh, i also bought uh, like some cameras as well i bought some lenses and i bought a gimbal because these things are still on the way but uh so this is it so this is the dji dji um mini 2 the smallest uh, uh, uh drone that dji has made and the thing with this is that uh, most youtubers you know like these big youtubers uh, like classify this as a beginner as a beginner drone but i kid you not something that has 4k and can fly as far as 10 kilometers away from my way controlling it from doesn't sound like a beginner to me and so the thing is for us for us african creators it's really difficult sometimes to come out up with the money to buy this you know for any african this is like uh 699 us dollars which is quite expensive so it is not a beginner drone to an african this is where you know like epic goes epic and um i have a trip next week i think the first week of november i'm going to go to to uh Samfia. so on the lake Pangweura, i should be able to take some amazing footage and uh in the meantime i'm gonna spend a few days just learning how to fly this baby um my name is hope mukunte uh this is uh hope tv and uh thanks for watching until the time and day when I can show you guys some more footage of me actually flying this and just also, you know, trying to create some tutorials of how to fly this. It's cheers. Take care.